On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Iron Man 2 movie series figures. We're looking today at the Air Assault Drone, featuring a removable jetpack. Ah uh, yes, a drone. Can't go wrong really with the army building these guys. Sadly, depending on when you're watching this review, I don't even know when I'm going to upload this video. But uh, I'm almost willing to bet these figures are probably still available in toy stores. I know at the time that I picked these up, they were still available in Toys R Us. They probably are still there. This comes to us from Hasbro. On the back of the package, other figures that you can get from this series. We've got Ivan Whiplash Vanko. We have the Weapon Assault Drone and uh, Iron Man Ultimate Armor. The read-up says Air Assault Drone. The Air Assault Drone was built to mimic and surpass the speed and stealth of the Iron Man armor. It is capable of punishing uh, bursts of speed too fast for most missiles systems to track, even if they could lock onto its radar transparent armor. Of course, there is the removable jetpack. Uh, but that would be it for packaging. I'm going to take a bit of a break. We're going to get this opened up, and we are going to get a better look at the Air Assault drone. Stay tuned, guys. There's certainly more on the way. And the card that comes with the Air Assault drone, as you can see, again, comes in three parts. We've got the upper torso, the lower legs, and then we have the arms and head. You can take the ger generic base that comes with the Air Assault drone and just put those cards into place. And just like that, you've got yourself an instant display to hold this, or to have this figure standing on. Let's have a look at the actual figure. There's a peg hole on the back. We'll take this very large jet pack that comes with this figure, and we'll just peg it into place. Of course, making sure I've got the right end up. I wonder if you could actually put it the other way around. Not that you would really want to. No, see, you can't because this piece would butt in the way. That solves that. And there you've got the air assault drone with his jet pack. As much as I really like the weapon assault drone, I really like the air assault drone. It's one of those figures that really, if you aren't buying them for the purpose of an Iron Man uh, figure, you could certainly buy these for the case of, you know, a, a just a, a an army robot for your Marvel Universe figures. These certainly would be ideal for G.I. Joes as well. If you are still one that plays with your toys, which uh, there's nothing wrong with that, um, and you want to set up a nice little scene, I mean, you could really have it where Cobra has built you know, I use G.I. Joe, I, I like G.I. Joe, but you could pretend like G.I. that Cobra has built these super assault uh, robots that G.I. Joe has to contend with. Or you can make it like some, you know, your typical five-part G.I. Joe ep miniseries episode. You could have the G.I. Joes transporting these, these uh, super advanced robots, and Cobra, of course, attacks the convoy. There's a couple of different things you can do. With your imagination, you can really do whatever you want. Um, the detailing on him is very nice. He's a very substantial figure. I mean, he's got some weight to him as well, which I like. Um, I think the paint on him is really nice too. There is no alternate head. He only comes with the one head. But uh, still pretty good. He's got close fists, so he doesn't come with any accessories. It works itself fine that he wouldn't have been able to hold them anyways. Uh, but I think he, overall he's got this really, really nice detail to him. A nice detail all the way down to the shin guard area, the, the lower leg area of the robot. You got these really large kind of feet going on there. You could even pretend like he's like a some sort of Robocop kind of figure. It's blasphemy spot, all the things you're saying. Well, again, that's the beauty of an imagination. You can pretend it is anything you want it to be. Um, in the way of his articulation, he does have a ball jointed head, so you can rotate the head all the way around. Uh, these shoulders look like they're on a pin and socket. Um, although I can't seem to get the arms to move out. This one's fine. That one works pretty good. This one, though, not so much. 
There's also a rotation in the elbow. There is a pin to bend the elbow, but you can see where this guard, if you turn it the wrong way, that guard is going to hinder a, a real bend in, that, in the elbow there. You can kind of get it about there, and that's about as much as you're going to get out of it. Um, the hands can rotate, not well though. There is the upper torso, what looks to be a ball joint. Um, is there a waist swivel? There is no waist swivel, and I got the backpack coming off here. Uh, the legs are on a pin and socket as well, so they bend back and forth in and out. There's a rotation in the thigh, a bend in the knee. Looks like there's only one point bend. And there's a pin and socket foot as well. While I did like the, um, while, while I did actually like the uh, the weapon assault drone, I really like this air assault drone so much more. First of all, he's much more generic in color that you can use him for a variety of different things. Again, I referenced the GI Joe, but you could really use it for anything you wanted. Um, it, it, you know, it, it's got a nice metallic silver, it's got a lot of detail, it's got a lot of extra beef to it. I think it's just an, a really an all-around solid figure. You could even pretend like a, it's an updated version of Ultron. Okay, Spot, you really gotta stop. But I'm just telling you, you, you know, you can pretend it's anything you want. So I would say, if you're watching this review, I don't know when I'm gonna upload this, but if you're watching this review, and these are still available in your Toys R Us, don't knock it. You could probably get these for a pretty good price nowadays that if you want to just build just a, a an army of this these these generic robots, I think this is a perfect toy to pick up. Uh, the Air Assault drone, I am going to give a 7.5 to such a nice looking figure. Today's toy spot, we're having a look at the Iron Man 2 movie series figures. We're looking today at the Air Assault drone. Thanks for watching guys, as you always do. Let me know down below what you think of this figure, and I will see you guys next time. Pfft.